guys, Lizard Lee here for Puzzles Day 8. Uh, it's already 6.30. I ended up working for three extra hours. I'll talk about everything in the narration, so you'll get, you know, you'll get that. But I got a package from Terry Gordon today. You don't get to see our addresses, because that would be bad. Uh, she already told me I was allowed to open it on camera and say her name, so woohoo. We've been talking for a while on uh, Facebook, so... On my fan page, by the way, which I'm very happy about, because I always... It drives me nuts when people message my personal Facebook because it's like, I don't want to talk about cross-stitching here. Like, no. <laughs> if I can open it. Oh, God. I probably shouldn't video these because, like, I'm terrible at opening stuff. Like, I can never be one of those unboxing people because, like, I would just, it would be bad. It would be so bad. <laughs> what am I even doing now? Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I have pieces falling into my hair. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, ooh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's not coming out. Hi, Jess. You gonna help Lizzie with your cause? I got economy sheet protectors. <laughs> I will say, um, my family, we're the kind that if we don't, like, usually it happens when we were about to move or if we just moved to somewhere new. If someone had a birthday nearby, you know, during the time around when we moved or Christmas was nearby, we would give people presents in cereal boxes. So this doesn't surprise me at all. I'm totally cool with it. I think it's hilarious. Because I guarantee you, there are people, I've seen it happen at birthday parties before, they get it and they're like, you got me cereal for my birthday? And I could have been like, you sent me economy sheet protectors? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, so, look at all of these. <sighs> what am I doing? I had a really good day. Um, I Most of the stuff I have to talk about is bad, you know, whiny stuff, but, oh, she got me a card, oh, I have to open it, if it's too personal, I'll take it off, and I'll just send the video of me reading it to her, but, it says Liz, Liz. and it's spelled with a Z, a lot of people, I've seen people spell it with an S, which, you know, it makes me giggle, and that's it, I don't get mad, I want to keep this, oh my gosh, Take the picture, take the picture, take the second picture. <laughs> oh, look at the kitty. Liz, Christmas can be wonderful once you get into the spirit. Terry. Oh, I love it. I love it. Thank you, Terry. Dude, even if you had just sent me the card, this would have been super awesome. Crap, should I have waited until Christmas? It's Christmas Eve. <gasps> I have a family tradition of opening one present on Christmas Eve. This is my present. So I'm not being bad. Okay, so she sent me a bunch of heaven and earth designs. So, um, ooh, maybe I'll put that in the title. Like, I have heaven and earth designs. You guys, uh, go down below and tell me which one, like, your top two favorites. And then whichever ones get the most votes, I might, uh, change my poll. Or that it'll just be the next, in the next poll. So this one is mini blue topaz. It's a really pretty blue fairy. All right. Let me this. Next one is Spirit of Spring. Ooh, that one's really pretty. I mean, obviously, I love the first one because blue. Oh, this one's pretty too. Uh, QS Moon Maiden. That looks like watercolor. Oh my gosh, I love watercolor so much. Not doing it. I can't do watercolor to save my life. But other people who do watercolor, oh man, love it. Far away. Ooh, look at that. It's a horsey. Do you cute? Oh my god. Spring ecstasy. Look at her. And all that cleavage. She's got a lot of cleavage. But look at her face. She's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. She's got her arm up. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, I will say, the reason I didn't video earlier is because I woke up, I had a ton of pain 
on my right arm, like going down my back. I probably slipped like this, to be honest. I didn't stitch or puzzle, puzzle at all this morning. I was in too much pain. It wouldn't have worked. Uh, sapphire. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Peridot. Peridot? Mm, peridot? Peridot? I don't know how to pronounce it. I know it's a color. That's all I've got. Aquamarine. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, look at these. They're so pretty. Opal. Oh my gosh. Is it? Oh my gosh. It's all these stones. That's awesome. Amethyst. Wait, I thought amethysts were green. This is purple. I just confused myself, you guys. Actually, I think amethyst is one of the ones that can be more than one color. It just depends on, like, how old it is or the, what, what was around it or something. I don't know. But those, I have several more heaven and earth designs. You guys all should thank Terry below. I'm sure she'd appreciate it. Thank you again, Terry. I love it. And I'm really, I'm really happy with your card. I love it. This, I haven't worked on my scrapbook in ages, but it will get in there. All right. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was heaven and earth design stuff. I'm, my head's out of the frame now. Um, I'm going to go do some puzzles and then on the narration, you'll get to hear about what I had to deal with. And what my boss had to deal with. Oh, man, that'll be that'll be fun. So Tessa just walked over there, so she'll be here to help me. And uh, I'm going to go puzzle. So little Tess Ness just got her Christmas present, or for Christmas Eve, which is a gorgeous collar with peacock feathers on it. I was told it was bought at PetSmart. Come here, my love. Everybody wants to see you put on your Christmas present. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Don't you dare choke yourself, young lady. What are you doing? No. No, 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 no. That's not okay. Gotta tighten this up. No, good Tessa, stop. <laughs> no, what are you doing, you dork? Stop. Gotta get a little bit tighter. Okay. Is that good? Can you pull it off in case there's an emergency? But will it stay on? Yeah? All right. You want some stew? Is that it? You want some of Lizzie's stew? Yeah. We well, gotta show everybody how gorgeous you look in your new collar, which is similar to your old one, cause it's still blue. Cause even my beautiful Perlers, who is a beautiful young lady, doesn't think color gender roles are valid. Right, Tess? Say yes. Thank you. <laughs> Hold on. I'll get you a piece of the roast. Hold on. There. Mm -hmm. When you eat human food, eat human food. Yeah. There you go. Better not bite me. I'm filming this. <laughs> Although usually hers are just small nips. And it's because, you know, she doesn't realize it's my finger. She never purposefully bites me. She'll do this. Open your mouth. Show everybody. She'll just put like that. She'll just have my finger in her mouth. But she won't actually bite me. Because she's my little baby girl. I love your bright eyes. <laughs> Either she's out of frame down below or out of frame up high. I got this camera in a horrible spot. I apologize. Boobs. There. How's that? And as always with the puzzle videos, we gotta start with my little Tess Nance. She's so cute. Anyways, so I was gonna talk about work. So, uh, on the way home, actually, is where I would like to start. It takes a lot to get me to honk my horn. Like, almost accident levels to get me to honk my horn. Okay, that's how serious I am with it. I was at a four-way stop and there was a guy across from me going straight and I was turning left. He got there right before I did, so I stopped and waited. When he was halfway, I started pulling forward so I could just, you know, pull left right behind him, take less time so other people wouldn't get annoyed with me. But there was a woman who pulled up behind him and she decided to not stop. She just rolled right on through it. And so obviously I couldn't see that she was trying to go through as that guy was passing me. So I had to slam on my brakes and uh, I honked the hell out her. I was really pissed. I started cursing at her. I was really angry because she broke the law. She she went, she went didn't even slow down when going through the stop sign. She just drove right on through it. And then right after that, she went to a stop sign or a red light. And then there were literally no cars coming. And she waited a whole minute before she turned right. 
Okay, like that's so stupid. I would have preferred if she had waited 30 seconds at the stop sign and 30 seconds in the light than to literally break the law. Oh my God. And then uh, when I was on the highway, I had a guy drifting into my lane and I had to honk at him because I would have hit him and I would have been bad. So let's see. I don't remember the order of everything that happened. Uh, I will say pretty early on, the guy who worked in framing, who is probably one of my, no, he is one of my favorite managers. Uh, he was like, oh, I'm, I'm happy you're staying. And I was like, I am too. So yay. Um, oh, they ended up, at, he was the one who asked me to stay late. And after, when I was leaving, everybody else was still staying, but I had to go. So I didn't have too many hours. Uh, he was like, you know, thanks again for staying. And I was like, oh, I'm always happy to, you know, I love working here. And he's like, I know you do. That's why I was like, we need to get her to clock back in. <laughs> so that was really nice. He smiles almost as much as I do. So obviously, you know, he's definitely going to be one of my favorites. He's awesome. Okay, so I talked about these. I wrote these down so I wouldn't forget. I didn't want to mess up and then forget. Okay, so I got that. Um... Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm talking about the good stuff. So I'll continue with the good stuff. I had a guy come up and uh, his uh, items, like it came out to like $88 exactly, like no change. And I was like, oh, wow, that's awesome. You know, what are the chances? And he's like, oh, I, I planned it that way. And so we both laughed. And I was like, oh, so you're like a math savant then. And he's like, yeah, Rain Man style. And I laughed because I absolutely love Rain Man. And I was like, oh, that's such a good movie. And he's like, right? And he's like, you know, and, and we're just right in that perfect age range that we got the reference. I was like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh... Okay, so now we're on the bad customers. So I had a family of three. It was the husband, wife, and their daughter. They came over and... They wanted me to check the prices on literally every fucking item they had. And they were all big items. So it was like, you know, it takes forever to get to the dang barcode. And then I have to scan it again later if they decide to buy it. And it was all because everything was on this on sale. But they specifically wanted to know the original price. And when I'm scanning things normally, I can't do that. It'll only tell me like, oh, hey, promo, you know, deal. This is off. So I have to go to specifically price lookup on the computer to check. And I did all the ones they wanted. And then their daughter came over. And, you know, they were, they were standing together the entire time. But she put an item up there. And she said she wanted it. So I scanned it. She was like, oh, wait, can you tell me how much it, it originally was? And I was like, uh, hold on. So I went to price lookup and it would work. And I was like, uh, and it's not working. And they're like, oh, well. We, we can wait. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? So I asked the cashier next to me if her gun was working. And I tried. And it wasn't scanning. Like, it was working. I could log in. But it wouldn't scan. So I was like, yeah, I, you know, I, I, I don't know. There's nothing I can do. It's not going to start working all of a sudden. Like, everything is up and running. But it won't let me check the price for you because I've already hit the total button. And they were like, oh, well, can you see it afterwards? I was like, yeah, you know, once I hit total and we finish the transaction... It'll let me look it up. And they're like, okay. And then they just stood there and they started talking to each other. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like finish the dang transaction so I could do what you want me, what, what you want me to. And so they just kept talking. And I was like, you know, we have five minutes until closing and there's still a line. Like I cannot wait for this shit. So I move over to the other cashier's register and I use her gun for the price lookup. And I was like, you know, it was originally $49.99 and it's down to $29.99. They're like, oh, okay, we'll pay for it now. And I was like, like, seriously, I have never cared what the original price for an item was. If it's marked down and I like that new price, I'm happy. I don't need to know the original price to know that it's okay or not. Like, you're either willing to pay that price or you're not. It doesn't matter what the original price was. So I just, they were just so rude. They were like, oh, how much is this? How much is this? How much is this? And I was like, there are price checks, you know, here and here in the store. You know, go use them. Ugh. Uh, I had a customer come up and uh, I smiled, you know, I said hello. And she was like, oh, I'm so glad I got you. You're the nice one. And I was like, oh, okay. And when she said that, like right after she said it, she looked at the other cashiers and the one immediately next to me is like, 
the nicest freaking woman I've ever met. She is so nice and she's just so happy like every time she's in I'm like ah Tonya yay <laughs> and uh the other cashier I actually really like her but sometimes she does come across as you know sarcastic so people see her more as rude and she kind of has resting bitch face so you know I get it she has a beautiful smile when she does smile though so and I was just like oh yeah okay and then uh she had like six or seven items and she had one 50% off coupon. She was like, so can I scan this for each item? And I was like, it'll only come up for one. And she was like, oh, well, can I do, you know, how, how many separate transactions can I do? And I was like, well, you can do all of them, but I can only use that coupon once for you. And she was like, why? And I was like, oh, it's a rule. It's, you know, one coupon per person per day. And then, you know, she clearly didn't think I was so nice anymore. And I was like, you know, it's a rule of the store. Like it says it on your coupon. So I'm not going to get in trouble. So you continue thinking I'm the nice one. I don't care if a random customer thinks I'm the nice one or not. I care that I get to keep my job. So uh, we ended up just, I had a 30% off entire purchase, so I just scanned that because I was like, you know, if I have to get my manager over here, she's probably going to be annoyed with me because I already know that I can't do what you're asking, so it's pointless to ask my manager. And then it was right when I was about to start leaving, I heard my manager over the uh, the radio. She was saying that, uh, you know, it's Christmas Eve and I just had a customer yell at me. And we were all just like, you know, what the heck happened? Like, what's wrong? I didn't, you know, what's what, what's going on? She, she was saying that uh, she told a customer what time it was and that, you know, they had to start getting ready to leave because we were closing in like two, three minutes. I got off at the exact same time we closed. So, you know, if that helps. And um, I guess the customer was like, oh, no, that's not the time. And my manager was like, eh, you don't know what it is. You know, I guess she like pulled out her phone or whatever. And the woman was, or I don't know if it was a woman. It was a customer. Uh, they were just like, I, I can't believe you guys are closing this early. Because we were closing at 6. And normally, you know, we go 9 or later. But it's freaking Christmas Eve, okay? And uh, then Terry was just like, you know, I'm, you know, it was company policy. Like, we're closing at 6 today. And the woman, or the person, the customer, flipped my manager off and walked away. Uh, and then after that, I was just like, you know, how can you yell at someone over something so stupid on Christmas Eve? Like, are you kidding me? So we were all over the radio like, what the fuck is wrong with that customer? Like, why would they do that? I'm so sorry that happened to you. Like, I just, I don't get it. And my manager, like, she's a total sweetheart. Anytime I have a customer that's, like, being really mean or something and, you know, I need a manager's help, I'm like, hey... Can you want to come over here? And she's always like, oh, yeah, sweetie, we can help you. You know, she says it to the customer. And the customers are always, you know, like, they're endeared by her. I don't know if she's a grandmother, but, like, she totally has that grandmother appeal. And, you know, like, some people are mean to grandmas, but most people aren't. So they're, all, they're usually they're just like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, you get some customers that think I'm, like, 16, so they're really nice to me. And then you get other ones that think I'm 16 and really hate me. So, you know the older ones like the the older grandmother motherly type although i have to say i don't think she's that old she just comes across that way with you know her speech and you know the way she talks to people and she's a white lady by the way i don't know if that makes a difference or not but at least in the families i've met and you know my own personal one it's usually grandmas that are like you know oh hey sweetie honey you know they 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 use those terms of en endearment, pet names, whatever, even on complete strangers. And it feels totally natural. It's, you know, it doesn't seem like they're trying to baby you or anything. That's just how they are. It's how they talk to people. So yeah, I, today was super duper busy. It was crazy. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> My favorite part though, when I was originally going to get off, I went to the office which is where we have to put away our radios and our guns and possibly clock out. We can also clock out in the break room. But uh, there were like one, two, three, there were four people in there. And I, I was just like, you know, is there a party going on? They're like, yeah, you know, we're all off. So we're just hanging out. And I was like, oh, okay. So, you know, we talked for a little while. 
they all left and I was following behind and one of the managers from framing, the one who said he was really happy I was staying. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start calling him Captain America because his name is Steven, which is really close to Steve. So Captain America. <laughs> you may well call him Captain. Uh, he came over and I, I talked to him for a little bit. And then I went to the break room where they were all hanging out and talking. And I was like, am I just always going to come to these parties late? They're like, yeah, probably. <laughs> so, you know, we all laughed. And then we spent the next, like, 10, 15 minutes talking and laughing. And, I mean, and there was pizza and cupcakes, so that was really delicious. It was great. Uh, some of them were bitching about uh, other people. <laughs> they, they particularly were not fond of my uh, mountain man boss that I said doesn't smile very often. But, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe I, like, remind him of a family member or something, but, like, He's always been really nice to me. I I don't know. Um, but the way they talk is like, he's really mean unless he's on the phone with you. In that case, he sounds like adult sweetheart. And I was like, I don't know. Like, you know, I didn't say anything because I was like, you know, he's nice to me, and I'm not gonna talk bad about someone who's nice to me. <laughs> like, and even if he wasn't my boss, even if he was a coworker, like, he's nice to me. That's good enough for me. <laughs> uh. And, yeah, they were all like, you know, yeah, you know, we should probably get out there and, you know, leave because they're going to want one of us to come back on and help because that line is really long. And I was like, yeah, you know, I, I just got off my register. And I, I remember at one point I looked over and I saw you guys in there laughing and I was just like, ah, those jerks. But I didn't, I wasn't mad at you guys, you know, I was just like, oh, of course, you know, <laughs> they're not working. And so, you know, we all, we all laughed. And then when we were heading back. <sighs> they all left before I did because I still had to put away my radio and my gun. And then they had their bag checks done and they left. Or no, no, they were about to leave. I came over and I had my bag check done. And then my manager, she was like, you know, yeah, captain just want, you know, wanted you to clock back in. And I was like, oh, okay. I, I can if you guys want me to. And she's like, yes, please. And so I clocked back in and the four of them were like, oh, lucky. And I was like, Everybody else, when they work overtime like that, they they get annoyed and they don't think it's lucky for them. So I was like, you know, maybe the reason they asked me and not you guys is because I respond happily to it and I don't bitch the entire time. So I was like, you know, if that's what it takes for me to get more hours, I will continue to be happy about getting more hours because <laughs> it's the truth. Okay, no question time. That's the end. And that's the end of Puzzles Day 8. I am super cold. I'm already in my pajamas. I am ready to go to bed. I still need to do the narration. I only got an hour and 52 minutes of puzzle work done. Do you want to come say bye? Yeah? Okay, ready? Up! Oh, you are so warm. I'm not letting you go now. We're going to do the whole narration like this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to go do the narration. So, like, subscribe, share, comment, all that jazz. Tessa's got her foot out. I don't know why she's doing that. You are so funny. And uh, Tessa and I will see you in the next video. What What are you doing? What are you doing to us this foot? No, you can't leave me. You're too warm. And I'm cold. Oh, you look so sexy with your new collar. Yes, you do. She's got a new, new bell, too, huh? Yeah. You're so warm. Oh, okay. Narration time.